This is your hints video for lesson 2.1, congruent figures. So first, here's problem number seven. We're given the two figures. We're told that they are congruent, and we need to name the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. So the best thing to do here is to look and find one angle that's obvious. So when I'm looking at this, I see P and W appear to be congruent. So if we're told that the figures are congruent, angle P and angle W are corresponding. Then we can just move in um, a similar direction here. So if I look next at Q, this is an obtuse angle and that looks the same as V. So here I have angle Q and angle V. So as I keep going around clockwise for the figure on the left and counterclockwise to the figure on the right, we're gonna keep finding these angles. So angle R and angle Z, angle S and angle Y, and then last we have angle T and angle uh, X. So those are our five sets of corresponding angles. We can do the same thing with the sides. If we start with PQ and WV, PQ and WV are corresponding sides. And then we'll kind of keep going in the same directions that we did with the uh, angles. So next I'm gonna have QR and VZ. I'm gonna keep going around. I have R, S, and Z, Y. Next, I have S, T, and Y, X. And last, T, P, and X, W. All right, next we need to tell whether these two figures are congruent. So we know that there are uh, two criteria, right? We need to have uh, corresponding sides congruent and corresponding angles congruent. So I need to check both of those things. Here I see I have a right angle here. Those match. I have this double arc here and a double arc here. That means that those angles are corresponding and they are congruent. And here are these angles too. So I've proven that my angles are congruent, my corresponding angles, and then I can look and see my sides actually are congruent as well. Six and six, eight and eight, 10 and 10. So yes, they are congruent, uh, corresponding sides and angles are congruent. All right, then I need to look at this next problem, and it's an error analysis. It says, describe and correct the error in telling whether the two figures are congruent. So as I'm looking at this, I can see that um, both figures have uh, four sides. Sorry, this is what it says on your uh, page. It says, both figures have four sides, and the corresponding side lengths are equal, so they are congruent, and that is an error. These are not congruent because we can see that the corresponding angles are not congruent. Here we have um, an obtuse angle and an acute angle. This looks to be a rhombus, and the figure on the left looks like it's a square with right angles. So we'll say that corresponding angles are not congruent. All right, and then we have one last problem here. Um, we are told that the fronts of these houses are identical. Um, in other words, they are congruent. What is the length of side LM? So as we look at these two figures, LM corresponds with CD. So the side length of LM would have to be the same as CD, which is 32 feet. Which angle of J, K, L, M, N, J, K, L, M, N, 
corresponds to angle D. So this angle right here, well, that would be M, angle M. Side AB is congruent to side AE. So this side here is congruent to this side here, the two tops of the roof. What is the side length of AB? Well, let's see, JN over here is 20 feet, which means that AE must be 20 feet. And if AE and AB are congruent, then that must also be 20 feet. What is the perimeter of A, B, C, D, E? Well, if we know that both of the tops of the roof here are 20 feet, then we need to add up 32 plus 12 plus 12, those are the sides, plus 20 plus 20 to get our perimeter. And I'm adding that up and getting 96 feet.